I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and in this movie tutorial I want to start using the publish services inside of the library module. This allows me to upload directly from uh, Lightroom onto one of my social media channels and that also includes Instagram. Now Instagram usually um, stops people from uploading via computer but this uh, plugin is available online and can be installed inside of Lightroom. That's L R forward slash Instagram. But uh, Lightroom already comes uh, shipped uh, uh, with the publishing services for Flickr and Facebook. So maybe I'll just show you how we can quickly set one of those up. I'm just uh, going to right click and choose create another published service. I've already got two, but you can have multiples. Uh, you'll just double click on your Facebook um, icon in order to actually um, set this up. Okay, now the first thing you're going to have to do uh, if you've not created one of these before is actually click on the authorize on Facebook. Facebook uh, won't accept images from Lightroom unless you give it permission to do that. So I'll just click on the authorize and uh, agree to their terms and conditions and uh, we'll uh, open up a web browser and we just hit continue. Okay, and so let's click OK. Uh, and success. We can now go back to my uh, Lightroom and uh, continue with this um, uh, workflow. Now um, we're going to the album timeline but you can see that we can actually select um, a page from here. We could uh, select one of my photography pages and I've got quite a few or basically just any other area within Facebook. Okay so I'll just go back to album timeline Okay, you can even uh, click on the button create new album there. Now what I'm going to do, because I don't tend to um, rename my files, I'm going to um, uh, name them with the title. And if I've forgotten to put a title to the image, it will default back to the file name. Now we're going to be saving as JPEG obviously, but I'm going to raise that quality up to 90. And I'm going to resize the images. Uh, I'm selecting the long edge option here and I'm going to put in uh, 2048 which is the largest um, uh, resolution that uh, Facebook accepts. We're also going to select the sharpen for screen there and I'll use that standard. Okay now that we've um, set that up we can just hit save and we get um, this new Facebook um, publishing site uh, going down towards my timeline photos. Now if I've already edited this image it's just a simple matter of clicking, dragging onto the timeline photos, uh, clicking on the timeline photos and we'll have to go back into grid view for this because I need to see that button called publish. And now if I click on publish uh, that will be uploaded uh, to my um, timeline on Facebook and um, when that's done I can also click on this link here to see whether that indeed has gone up to the timeline. Okay so let's just uh, click on that link and again it opens it up into the timeline window and I can see the image that I've just uploaded and you can see it's also um, replaced the number of the file uh, with the title that I um, put in inside of the metadata panel. Let's just uh, go back to uh, Lightroom now. So that's um, a quick overview of how we can use a published service inside of Lightroom. Now if anybody does comment uh, on this photo that I've uploaded I don't need to go back to the web browser even. I can just uh, come over here uh, to the uh, panels on the right hand side and right down at the bottom there we do have a comments panel and if anybody does comment on that image uh, that will appear here and I can also answer and reply to the comments directly from within Lightroom. Okay, thumbs up. Uh, please share this information if you found it useful and I'll catch you online next time.